here and welcome to another edition of Pastor Talk. I'm Pastor James Johnson. I'm Scott Soames. And we are going to, we are here at the master's table. Um, we're going inside soon to be with our brother Marvin Galloway in the Barber's House. Um, it's a ministry that he has for in the Yazoo City area. And so without further ado, let's go on in and talk yeah, to him. It's cold right here and it's about to start snowing. So. <laughs> What's going on, brothers? Brother. How you doing? My guest tonight. Oh, wow. Mr. Master. <laughs> what? Oh, Minister Martin Martin Galloway. Galloway. Oh, wow. How y'all doing? God Youth Ministries? Yes, sir. Wow. This is going to be an exciting. Yes, sir. Exciting show tonight. Wow. Well, God, have a seat, man. Let me sell out. Awesome. Right at the Master's table. Yes, it's at the Barber's house. I am excited to be here with my younger brother in ministry, uh, Martin Galloway. Yeah. Not only is my younger brother, he's my barber, keeps me making sure I look good on um, Cool Pit Ready. <laughs> cool Pit Ready. <laughs> so, I appreciate it. Um, before we start, tell us a little bit about your ministry. Well, um, like you said, this is the barber's house. Uh, mm -hmm. It's for young men. Um, the whole thing came about from Miss Belinda Espy uh, showing me this part of the room or the house, which was a pool room. And she removed the pool table and we started putting in chairs. Of course, I was in the process of uh, graduating from barber school, which I'm now licensed as a barber. So I really wanted to set up a place to give young men uh, a way to learn the gospel as well as learn the skill to provide for their family. So we're teaching the gospel here and giving them a skill that they can use to provide for their own future families and provide for themselves right now. As a, as a means of cutting hair. So it's, it's an awesome thing. So, so cutting hair is, is, is part of your ministry? Indeed, indeed. And hey, congratulations on getting your, yeah, thank your you. license. Thank you. I appreciate, I appreciate that. That is as a big feat. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It was a long journey. And I'm, I'm happy. So how, how did you do that? Because um, you, you were working at the time. Right, right, right. Working. So, family. Yeah. School. Yeah. Ministry. 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 I mean, there, there might be somebody out there who, who thinks, uh, you know, I'm too old to, to start something new. Oh, right, right. No, no. I would definitely encourage anyone who's wanting to uh, try uh, this field, really any field, like go for it, you okay. know. And uh, you're able to balance it all out. Just going to definitely take uh, the Holy Spirit and uh, having a good support system as I have with you guys. So I appreciate you guys because I didn't get there by myself. I definitely had help along the way. So good support system, faith in God, and definitely going to make it happen. So yeah, I was able to balance it all out from working. I was able to leave work early, a lot of days to uh, go to school. So that was awesome. Nice. We, um, with my brother, we, we go back a long way. Right. Hey guys. How you doing? How's it going? That's going good. Oh, thank you. No, 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 no. Perfect timing. Come in. Come in. Yeah, yes. Come in. We want to introduce you. Oh my God. I didn't know you guys were recording. No, no perfect, perfect timing. Perfect. Come in. Perfect. That's all. That's, that's the. So again, did you drop your bag? You see? <laughs> 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 thank you so much. Thank you. Look, this is Ashley. Yeah. This is not live, but this is recorded, and we're not going to edit this part. Wow. Right? Awesome. So, awesome. Uh, so when Miss Willem to come back in, we're just going to introduce her. But um, before the end, what I was going to say is um, Marvin has been partnership, partnershiping with First Love, um, and we do appreciate everything that you and your wife do for our ministry. Um, but before we get into that, Miss Willem, come here. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So, um, we want to we introduce the, the owner of, of this beautiful home. And yes, um, she... She has opened her doors to ministry. Mm -hmm. um, I've been here before for a worship service where my brother um, um, gave the word mm -hmm. and fireproof faith. Wow, I still reson resonate in my spirit on that uh, word you gave this Sunday. Wow. But it's a they have multiple ministries here, um, Bible studies, and so if you're in the Yazoo area and you're looking mm -hmm. for a Bible study or something. Um, stop by, see this balloon to see mm -hmm. a schedule of their Bible studies and um, come and participate. Yeah. All is welcome. Amen. So, Ms. Linda, thank you for opening your home to us. We'll have to interview you on our, our next program or one of our programs mm -hmm. because I think the story that you have is an amazing story. It's an interesting one for sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's unusual. And, and how you come about 
this place yes. and then how God has led you to, to do what you've done with that. Thanks. Thanks. Well, coming from California, correct? Yes. Come All the way to Los Angeles, Mississippi. Wow. Right. And so, uh, that in itself is that's that's a, a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. That's, that's amazing. 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 So, but um, my brother has been with us for, I know, a full year and a half yeah. teaching. Um, and not only is he part of God Geek, his wife is also, uh, a, they're, a, they're a one to hit, I mean, a combo. And a, a, a power house. A power house. <laughs> um, she, she'll set the atmosphere in worship and song, and he'll come and, you know, KO you with the word. So, um, y'all are an awesome couple, and so tell us how God got started. Oh, wow. Well, God got started going all the way back, and it's amazing how God would put something on your heart in the past, and you don't really see it manifest. So, uh, so we're in Jackson, shacking. This is pre-marriage now, so we're, we have an apartment in Jackson. And we already get ideas about t-shirts. Like, we want to do t-shirts. God, you. And we're looking up online, looking up Google. Like, we haven't seen this anywhere. No one has it. That's, that's odd. So, time passes on. We're married. We get back into the Word after transitioning from uh, under false teachers. And we're going through that whole role. And then we come into contact with true ministers of God, and we get back on fire, and we're like, man, we, we can start this back up. So we, we remember those shirts out there by God, and you're like, wait a minute, maybe it's more than shirts. Maybe it's more than a t-shirt. Maybe it's a lifestyle. So we just started teaching. We started the page online, uh, which we really started online, and uh, we started getting invited, and thank you for inviting us and welcoming us, because both of you guys have welcomed uh, myself and my wife at Open Arms, so we thank you for that, for every opportunity we had, and uh, as those doors opened, and my dad started growing in his trade, which was t-shirts, and all of it came full circle with the ministry, and now the t-shirts being made, so it was like, it's all God and what he was doing, so, wow. oh, that's a nice shirt, bro. That's a nice shirt. <laughs> I, 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 I forgot to put it on. He definitely has one. He definitely has one. So no, we support the ministry. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. And it's just amazing. We, we are honored. We are privileged. Every time we have an opportunity, every time we're called upon, and we truly stand on 2 Timothy 2.15, uh, studying the show, so cool on God, working that need not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So we definitely want to rightly divide the word of truth anytime we have an opportunity because who knows what what heart that seed will uh, fall on? And we definitely want God to receive all the glory from him that he gets there. Yeah, whenever I first saw God Geek on um, like on Facebook, and the format that you use on, on God Geek, I mean, to me it, it was really unique because you got your board. Right, 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 right. You got your board, and you got all your stuff on your board. And, and I, I think you do green screen. Right, right, right. So it's transitioned from the board. Right, right, to, right. To green screen, yeah, and you know, different things, and it's just it's, it, it called me because it, it's just in the way that you you divide the word right, right. And, and you break it down, and it's truly the I mean even small kids can can get it, right. understand it. And, I, I was um, about to say that um, from um, Trey, your son Trey, right, right. he can understand what Daddy is saying when Daddy is giving the word all the way to adults. And, and um, if you haven't, you know, if you haven't, go back to Gagi um, on YouTube, go check him out, subscribe, hit like, um, or you can go to Gagi page on Facebook, look at some of the older videos, or you can go to First Love's page and see some of the youth nights that uh, he's teaching at and see the participation. And it's like, you know, regular church, everybody's hating to be there. But at youth night, everybody's like, yeah. you, can't, you can't wait. I, mean, you can't wait. I was looking forward to see what, what, what Marvin's going to bring next. I mean, you know, you sit there and 
taking notes like, oh, that's gonna be a good, that's gonna be a good sermon right there. <laughs> yeah, I've been taking notes and like, ooh, that'll preach. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna preach good. That's all. Like that. <laughs> and, and, and that's the, awesome, bro. And the thing about it is, when I told you that you have a youth night, I gave you free reign. Right, right. I didn't say, yeah. okay, I want you to teach about this and teach about that. Mm -hmm. Um, whatever God gives you. Right. Look, we're in a um, three-part series of extras right yes, now. Um, we started it in November and we broke for Christmas, mm -hmm. and um, it is written. It, what, and what is, it is written? Yeah, I did. It is written for Christmas. like uh, youth night faves. Yeah. For Christmas, I did born to save. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, born to save was for Christmas. And, uh, we got Exodus Part Two, which will be wilderness. I'm definitely saving that for once we get back together in fellowship and for love. So. Definitely been working on that and I'm posting 10 versions tonight. We're starting a series on God be page with parables. And the first parable I did is uh, 10 versions. So they'll be posted up later tonight. So y'all um y'all be looking for that to drop. I I'm excited. I um seen it yesterday morning before I went to the barbershop. So when I got to the barbershop, I was like, bro, I seen we about to drop a video. Like I'm involved in it. <laughs> But you know, it's a, it's a family thing. Yeah, right. So um, he's more than my barber. He's more than a minister. He's my little brother. And so, you know, we're intertwined with each other. Our families love each other. Um, my girls love to go over to Uncle Marvin's house. They do, they do. And so, uh, you know, when your kids start liking the pastors just hanging around them, yeah. you know, we were sitting the other day. My daughters was trying to figure out who was going to marry them. <laughs> you know, they was trying to figure out which pastor they're going to get to marry them. Oh wow. wow! Some people are, you know, wow. some people are like, "Hold oh, on, we're gonna get this person to begrudge me," but they're excited. They got numerous of pastors yeah, that yeah, they, they can. Of them. Yeah, <laughs> they can say, "Okay, this one's gonna walk me down the aisle, or our dad's gonna walk me down the aisle." Yeah, they're, they're like, like oh, "Uncle Butterscotch, <laughs> he's supposed to definitely not do because he will tell a story, and that this night does not happen." Right, right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> really, him praying for food. Yeah, you're right. But this thing about. see the best for God, you got to see the best for him, like that. and they want to see the best for first love, like and so, you know, it's, we're working together to promote Christ, yeah. it's not, we're separated, we're not doing that, we're together. One body. Yes. One body. Exactly. I'm sitting there trying to remember, because, I mean, it's like we've known each other, like we grew up together. Right, right. Yeah. And I'm trying to remember, when did I first meet you and Shade? Wow. Uh, maybe, I don't know. Was it Bible study? It was the Hamel House Bible study. Definitely Bible study. Was it Hamel House? I know we came to Hamel House and then we eventually ended up coming to Hebrew because we were just trying to feel our way out. We just transitioned, like I said, from one of the false teachers. So we were coming out just trying to gather around the saints. What was it? Hamel House Bible study. Yeah, Wednesday night. Yeah, Wednesday night. Yeah, I think we met there. Yeah, we met there. And then, and so they sing it. Oh yeah, yeah. And like, we've got to have you <laughs> for a move on Wednesday nights. Definitely. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I, think, I, I think you were there as well. I don't as think it was, was um we hadn't we hadn't even established move yet. It was just Wednesday night Bible study. Right. right, 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 right. She would come in and sing on um, right. Wednesday nights and lead us and lead worship. Right. And so uh, the fifth Sunday singings. Yeah. Come and you know participate. Right. That was awesome. I met y'all at the two fifty two meeting. Two fifty two. Exactly. It was um. Yeah. We was at Mount Olivet, yep. and we was at Mount 252 um, for the county meeting, and Shaday said she saw him, and I'm like, for real? And that's when Marvin had his dreads. Oh, right, right. Yeah, right, yeah, right. 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 yeah, dreads. Dreads at that time, so, um, so that was been years ago. She yeah. broke out in song and sung, Holy Spirit, you're welcome here. Mm. And then at the Hamel House, when we was having it at the Hamel House, her and Leanne sat on the porch after her. A Bible study and they sung the Holy Spirit together. Oh, wow. yeah. And, you know, it's feel like it's been years. It does. It does. I mean, it, like I said, it feels like we've, we've always been together. Clip type. Yeah. Can yeah. yeah. you take that on camera? Uh, yeah, I'll we can. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's roll back to, <laughs> to the ministry that you have here on okay. the Armor House. Okay. Um, so, does, can anybody just like walk in off the street? How, how, how does this work? Well, it's completely open to the public. Uh, anybody can come in. 
I'm targeting young men, but older gentlemen can come in. Uh, so I would say maybe from the youngest of one year old all the way up to whatever age of a, a older elder gentleman, they can come in and we go through the Bible. Uh, we have uh, Brother George, known as Father George, in the community uh, in the city. He comes in and uh, we all just go through through, uh, through the word, scripture by scripture, verse by verse. And right now we're in the book of John. We made it to chapter two uh, after a month. So that just shows how detailed we're going yes. through the scripture. So we finally made the chapter two of that. And, but it's definitely open to the public. Anyone wants to come in and know we have a barbershop set up. It's not a barbershop per se. And uh, it's all about ministry here. So even our, our even the haircuts are free. You don't charge for the haircuts here. Uh, for those who want to donate to the ministry, we're open for that, but we definitely don't charge. So if there's anyone that needs okay, to so come in, we'll if, take care of that. Oh. If, if someone wants to donate, how would they do that? Uh, they, if, they, if they come in, they can drop it in the box. We have an offering box. They can come in and drop it in the box. But as far as me just taking it in my hands, I don't put anything in my hands here. So uh, it's all about ministry. And I found that that opens the door for the young men. And it's not about... Uh, the money. So once I break that money barrier down, they see this guy is truly caring about me. He wants to take care of me and give me a haircut. And I don't give them just any kind of haircut. I give them what they're asking for. I put my heart and I put my best into it. So just because it's free, I'm still giving you my best as if you're, as if you're paying me. So and, and that's the yeah. truth is, as he's cutting hair, He's talking about Jesus. I'm definitely talking about Jesus. <laughs> yeah, sure, yeah. I definitely I'm talking about Jesus. Yeah, definitely talking about Jesus. Yeah, because he's kind of made to sit in on some sessions we, we've had, and we have a circle or a chair circle, and then we all just just uh, fellowshipping and opening up and sharing. So it's, it's a great thing. And, and I like it because it breaks the word down. He breaks it down um, right. to the lowest common denominator. <laughs> yeah. And yes, it's, it's so broken down that even a child can understand it. And walk away with something, and so um, we need more of that in the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. um, you can expository preach all you want, mm -hmm. but if nobody walks away with anything, right, right. then you know that was a great sermon. You did use a lot of big words, right, right. but you know everybody's yeah. walking around. You know, as a pastor, I don't even know what half of the words mean. Right, right. <laughs> I mean, why are you even doing them out there? And, and you know, Greek. I mean, it's already been translated for me. Yeah, true. <laughs> I don't know where you're back into that. Right, right. We are, um, <laughs> true. We are open it up and, you know, I, you know, I, I do Greek because of school. Yeah. I, I'm not going to preach to you in Greek. I'm not going to teach because if I'm the only one in the room that understands it, right. right. then right. why would I go to it? Yeah. I might say, in the Greek, it, it says this, but that's all I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you what the... English version means so that you understand, oh, okay, this is what they was talking about. So, but he breaks it down and um, the Bible, I came to two, I sat in on one, I came in just, you know, to speak on one of them, mm -hmm. and the look of everybody's face, they was trying to get it, they was understanding, they was involved, they, you know, this is what, and I forgot what you was teaching on that night. Mm -hmm. It was. Right, it's right here on this side of my brain. It's trying to come down, but it hadn't came down yet. Was it John one? And I think it was. It was. Um, but you used the example verse. that um, here, here is Jesus, and you know he's telling everybody. He showed everybody what they can do and what he, what he's doing, and oh, and, and they, and they're looking at him like. Oh, he's nobody. Right, right, right. But he showed you who he was and right, the right. example of how he broke it down. Yeah. It was like, I was sitting over right there. I was like, <laughs> hmm. I know exactly what you're talking about. Bro. I never heard it like that before. And then Father George, um, shout out to Father George. He was like, yeah. um, he was like, I've never heard this. Yeah, like yeah. And I was, I was floored when I was, I'm like, whoa. So when, yeah, and that was just the Holy Spirit just yeah, yeah. rolling it out. Right. When you yeah. have preachers, and ministers telling you that man, how you explained it, right. I've never heard it before. That tells me that you're doing an awesome job, right. and you know. Oh, Lord God. So let me ask a question. Okay. 
it's gonna be crazy, but I and I probably already know. How many hours a week mm -hmm. do you study? Ooh, how many hours a week do I study? Wow. Oh, I study a lot. Uh, if I had to say hours per week. Let me just say this, I study a lot. Uh, I do have to go to the barbershop and even there, I'm studying there while I'm waiting on my clients to come in. I get home and I get to myself and study. So anytime I get a free moment, a free moment I'm trying to at least study something, take something in and uh, utilize each moment because I don't know who's gonna walk in that door next. And by me reading, I'm already charged up, I'm already in the spirit. And, they can come in and say, because I've had people come in and say uh, their mom just died. Or one of their family members just passed and you know they're, they're dealing with something. I can just come in and you know relieve them and just comfort them. Right. Not only with transforming, but with Have you ever, in, throughout the course of your day and in, in between customers, wherever the case may be, mm -hmm. read a particular piece of scripture and then somebody walks in and it pertains to that person? Like a, like a divine appointment? Yeah, that have, that's happened before too. Um, that's happened before too. Usually, I'm seeing all type. It's amazing that God chose this field of barber. Because I wouldn't have seen so many people that I've seen of different type of walks of life from truck drivers. I've cut South Africans who come down from South Africa and they're going to perform things, but they'll come by and look for a barber. And I, uh, Actually, have a picture with them. I'll send it to you guys. They'd be cool. We can put it on. But I got a picture with those guys, and they're they were good guys. And each person, in their own way, was able to share with me, and I was able to share with them some form of scripture with them, and hopefully that uh, seed impacted their life. But as the word says, it's going to return to them forward. So uh, just take that seed uh, But definitely study a lot. Definitely study a lot. But I can attest, um, not only does he listen to the ones off the street, but if a pastor comes in and say, man, I messed up. Oh, man. You know, he's not there to condemn. I, you know, I told y'all from the beginning that I have a group of pastors and friends that I go to if I'm in trouble or if I'm, you know, struggling with something. And I know that they're not judging me. They're not condemning me. They're, you know, trying to pray me out of the situation. And of course, two of the guys are right here. I know Marvin hates for me to label him a pastor, and that. <laughs> but you know, I, I always say that what you know God's calling on his life is that you know. But the thing that he's taught me is you can do it without a type. Definitely. You know, he. You know, I I have offered him many times to come and co-pastor with me in first yes. love yes. because I see his heart. Right. I see you know where God is trying to take him to, and you know, but. Even if he says no, he still he is still there to support, and he's never you know withdrew his support from us. And so I uh, you know I appreciate. We're, you. we're still in the holding down and anointing the Lord. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, just go ahead. And get, he's, he's got the anointing, man. We're just gonna go ahead and just make it official. It's a blessing. You know, every time every time you get around, it's like Saul. I mean uh, Saul with the. Uh, <laughs> the, the, the cup, you know, it starts bubbling when he walks in. Oh, and you walk, yeah. Okay. Mm. <laughs> it was weird. Yeah. But you know, he's gonna walk with me on Saturday night, he's gonna think he's there for a youth night and it's gonna wow. be a pastor's conference. Wow. And so, you know, if he what, what we call it, um so, the, um when the ministers get together the, before he get ordained. Oh uh, the, the council, the council yeah. The council. So he's gonna be sitting wow. in the middle of a council and the answer some council. questions. Wow. And so, you know, but wow. I I know his heart and I know, you know, and it's not it's not only that he teaches the kids outside his home, the same thing he's teaching outside, he's teaching inside. Yeah, yeah. And so, you know, that's a rarity to find someone who's on fire and their house, he's on fire at home first, yeah, yeah. and then it spreads out. And, 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 you, can, and you can see it through his family. Um, and, and the helpmate that God has given you. Oh, that man, is. that's all God. She oh, yeah, she is absolutely amazing. Not only does she sing, but she whenever she whenever worship hits her right. in the middle of the day, she's recording. She's putting it on Facebook. She's sharing it with everyone. Yeah, I mean right. that moment, that that beautiful moment that she, she had. I mean, and she shared it, and you click on her like, man, 
You just, you just get moved in the worship, and you just can't help but to worship along with her. And that's why she does it. You know what I mean? She's reaching out, and she's like, you know, man, God is speaking, and He's pouring into me, and I'm pouring out, and you just, I'm getting chills. Just, just, okay. just, just mess around. Go into worship in the middle of the day, and then you have to stop and go into a meeting, and you cry, and like, yeah. everything all right? Like, you won't understand yes. if I told you. Yeah. It's just, you know, how good God is. Yeah. And, you know, for her to do it on the spirit, half the time is when I need it. Right, 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 right. When I need it. When, yeah. when, you know, it's, like you said, right on time. I'm like, wow, God, how did you send waves out to my friends or my family saying, James needed this song again. Yeah. You reckon really she would object if we went and got her and asked her to kind of close us out with song? I don't think she would object at all. Oh, wow. Would you like me to go again? Oh, I would. Do you want to go get You better go. She yes. might just go. I don't get it. I don't get it. She just yeah. won. Yeah. And yeah. while you're going, I will, we will uh, keep the crowd entertained. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Um, look, we will, we're doing something new with Ashley's Talk. Um, not only are we interfering with our friends, but we're being transparent. Um, the struggles we have in life, um, the things that's going around in our community. Um, I want to say that we are praying for our nation. Um, we're praying for the senseless, I don't even know what to call it. I, I, I don't know. But know. Um, it's, it's tragic that someone lost their lives for the ones that did lose their lives. It's tragic that it happened. Um, but we know God is in control. Uh, no matter who's running the country, God is in control. You know, and we see we see a scripture. Um, even even when the, the, the kids were in the children of Israel were in bondage. Without music, you sing. You can sing it without the music. You know, God was still using whoever it was that was that was king. Yeah, and I mean, even when Saul messed up, um, the king, well, the king Saul messed up, God was still had him in position. Right? as he transitioned to David. And so, um, as in our mindset, let us remember, don't get so focused on politics that you forget about God. Keep God, keep God in the center of your lives. And I can guarantee you, we're talking about this, this this morning, just in conversation, uh, a, a sidebar pastor talk. Um, as long as God's in the center of your life and all the chaos going on around you, it doesn't affect you the same way that it affects the people who don't have God in the same way. That's true. So keep your eyes on God. Uh, he is the author and the finisher of our faith. Um, keep your faith strong and get you some people around you yes. that can encourage you yes. and hold you accountable. Um, and not only that, but to pray for you. And so um, my sister, my sister, um, every time, I, look, Marvin, you have an awesome life. Hey, it's all God. I want to say this. That part where it's talking about exceedingly and abundantly. Yeah. That's that part. More than you can have. Yes, yes, sir. I know. Yes. And I will tell you, um, I will give my my sister props. Yes. And uh, every time I've asked her to sing, every time I've asked her to come worship, every time I've asked her to come minister and song, whatever I'm preaching, she will do it. She and she could that. she has every right to say no. But she doesn't. But she doesn't. Well, that's, uh, her heart is, is, is there. That's, and so, um, God, God created you for worship. I know that for <laughs> sure. She, I, mean, I think she's an angel in disguise down here in August. You know, because I think that. Giant said they walk among us. They walk so, among us. Um, got to be, you've got to be one. She she's yeah. definitely has a voice. Um, um, I'm praying that she will um, nudge her sister, my wife, a little bit more to help her. To help her with her singing, uh, my wife also has a beautiful voice. She doesn't use it yes. at all as much as I would like her to do it. But um, I'm yes. sure. Again, I said the first time they met, they were singing on the Hamel House steps, and I think they were singing "Holy Spirit, You're Welcome Here," and I think they shut down the whole neighborhood. <laughs> and it was awesome. People around at the Hall Street Family Dollar were looking like, "Yeah, yeah." What are they out there singing? Okay. And so, you know, um, I want to bring her on camera. Come on, sis. Come on, sis. Come on, sis. Come on. <laughs> you want to stay back where Mr. Wood was? You think that's cool for her? Or you want me to let me send her some? I'm right here. I'm cool right here. Right here. Okay. okay. So, um, after she leaves. Stay just a little bit. No, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, now we can see. As you. 
closes out in song and ooh, we're so sorry. We came in and we did not pray. It's okay. Um, but that's okay. Um, yeah. After worship, after my sister lead us in worship, Martin, we close in prayer. That's what we're doing. All right, sis. There's nothing worth more that will ever come close. Nothing can compare. You are living hope. Your presence, Lord, I've tasted and seen of the sweetest of loves when my heart becomes free and my shame is undone your presence oh.